there's a way to get every single video you upload more views and double the watch hours. It comes down to one YouTube setting that most creators ignore, but all the big ones use it every single video. It's so simple. It takes one minute to set up as long as you're on a computer. And it calls results like this on our channel. 23,000 extra views on this video. 16,000 extra views on this one. 11,000 on this one. 10,000 extra views on this one and so many other examples. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the data from our channel so that you can see that this actually works. Then I'll teach you the exact strategy we use and show you how to set it up on your own channel. Let's start with the data. Here's what our analytics look like. I'm in YouTube Studio. I'll click Analytics, then click Advanced Mode at the top. Under Breakdown, I'll change this to Traffic Source. Now I'm going to scroll all the way down until I see end screens and click on it. Look at this. These numbers show how many extra views we're getting on different videos just from end screens. So what are end screens? End screens are a feature that YouTube gives you. They're those little boxes that show up at the last five to 20 seconds of a video. You can use them to promote other videos or to get people to subscribe. YouTube built this feature for you to use, but here's the problem. Most creators either don't use them at all, or they just throw them up without any strategy. When you actually use them the right way, they send thousands of extra views to your videos. Let me show you a real example from our channel. We uploaded this video titled, YouTube finally gifted small channels this. And at the end of the video, I said this. I also shared this video about how to get a thousand subscribers faster without even uploading a video. And as you can see, People are really enjoying that video. I highly recommend you click this next. See you guys next time. That's it. One simple pitch at the end and look what happened. That video sent 10,000 extra views to the video that I mentioned. But here's the really interesting part. People who clicked from that end screen watch for an average of three minutes and 32 seconds. The overall watch time average on that video was only one minute and 40 seconds. So people coming from the end screen watched more than twice as long. Why? Because they already watched one full video. They're engaged, they're interested, they're your best viewers. And YouTube loves this. When people watch multiple videos in a row, YouTube sees that as a signal to promote your content more. Here's how you can do this for your own channel. Before you finish filming your next video, ask yourself, if someone watched this entire video, what would they naturally want to watch next? The key word is naturally. Pick a video that's related. Either it goes deeper on the same topic or it's the logical next step. Here's a simple rule. Would at least 70% of people who just watched this video be interested in the next one? If yes, then that's your end screen. And here's the most important part. At the end of your video, tell people why they should click. Don't just point to it. Don't just leave it on the screen without you saying anything. Give them a reason. Tell them what they're going to learn. Make it personal. Now, let me guide you through how to set it up. After you upload your video, go to the video details page. You'll see this section for end screens. Click the plus button, then choose video. Now you'll get three options. Most recent upload, best for viewer, and specific video. I recommend you choose specific video and pick the exact video you just told people to watch in your outro. Then position it on screen where you want it and adjust the timeline so it appears when you're talking about it. Then click save. That's it. Done in less than one minute. One quick note, if you upload videos from your phone, you can't add in screens on mobile. You have to do it from a computer. Now here's how you know if it's working. Once you start adding end screens to multiple videos, you'll want to see which ones are performing well so you can do more of what works. So go to one of your videos, click the engagement tab at the top and scroll down until you see end screen element click rate. This shows you what percentage of people who saw your end screen actually clicked on it. Our channel average is only five and a half percent. We weren't really doing this the best way in the past, but this particular video is over 15%. That tells me exactly what I need to know. This end screen worked really well. So I can go back, look at what I said, and use the same approach on future videos. Check this a few days after your video goes live. See which end screens are getting the best click rates 
then do more of that. It's really that straightforward. Add the end screen, tell people why they should click, and track what's working. It literally takes one minute to set up and it can increase your views and double your watch hours. Now, if you like this video, you're going to love this one that's going to teach you how to get a thousand subscribers faster through three different methods that I teach. This video will just help you get views and watch hours. Click this one so you can get some subscribers.